everyone, welcome to Class in the Cloud Science with Teacher N and my lab assistant Zoe. If you are new here, welcome. We are looking forward to have some science fun with you. And remember to subscribe, like, and ring that bell so we don't miss any exciting science experiments that we're going to do. And in today's video, we are going to investigate properties of matter. Zoe, do you know what matter is? What's the matter with you? <laughs> That's not what I mean, Sully. I mean, Zoe, do you know what matter is? Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. That is 100% correct. Matter has many different characteristics and traits that can be used to describe it. Zoe, do you know what properties we are going to test today? Uh, today we are going to test buoyancy, transparency, bendability, uh, and magnetism. Yes, excellent. So what do we need for this experiment? Well, we need a piece of paper, a plastic lid, any type of metal you'd like, but in this case we're using a 20 cent, a mystery peel, cardboard, and a piece of glass. Guys, if you know what the mystery peel is, write in the comments down below. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Zoe. So let's start with our experiment. So first we're going to start with a piece of paper and we need to check if it, it is, is magnetic. Okay, so where is the magnet? Here it is. The us see. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, it, it doesn't look like it. No, definitely nope, not. Definitely <laughs> not. Is it bendable? Ooh, I am quite concerned about this one. Yep, definitely bendable. Okay. And not that stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> is it transparent? Nope. Definitely not. And is it buoyant? Ooh. Write down in the comments below if you know what buoyancy means. We're about to show you now. One, two, three. Okay. Well, it looks pretty buoyant to me. Okay. You can take it out there for us. This piece of paper is soaked. And guys, always make sure you have a dry cloth just to dry all the objects. But we're not probably going to throw this piece of paper away. <laughs> so our second test is a plastic lid. Okay, so we are first going to check if it is I think it's magnetic. not. What do you guys think? Write in the comments below. Nope. <laughs> it's definitely not magnetic. Okay, do you think it's bendable? Let's see. Mm -hmm. It is! Yeah. In a funny way. Hey, it actually kind of looks like a mirror like this. Now let's see if this thing's transparent. Uh, bit foggy, but it's still quite transparent. No, oh, you can see a little bit through it. So yes, you can classify this as transparent. Okay. So the next one is buoyant. Plastic usually floats, so I think it's gonna float. Okay, so let's see if this one floats like a boat. Uh, I think it is. It's floating! It's floating! Okay, so this one definitely floats. So Zoe, you can take it out for us and dry. Oh my goodness, this is soaked too. It is not as soaked as a piece of paper. Okay, excellent. So now, we are going to do the 20 cent coin. So this 20 cent coin is actually is a copper coated metal. So do you guys think this is going to be, magnetic. Going to be magnetic? Ooh, I have a pretty good concern. Oops. Oh, yep. Definitely magnetic. Definitely magnetic. Beautiful. It actually looks like it's part of a magnet. So, 
Yeah, do you think it's bendable? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Do you some guys think this is transparent? Uh, it's, nope, not transparent. Definitely not. And then... Buoyancy. Oh my goodness, I don't know about this one, guys. Okay. I think this check. one's gonna sink. You think? I hope it's gonna be good. Oh, yes, I was right! Make sure you put up your sleeves while doing this. Got it! Okay. Oh and, my goodness. And now, you guys can see what the mystery pill is. As a matter of fact, it's a piece of naughty skin. If you don't know what a notchy is, <laughs> ask your questions in the comments. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who would not know what a notchy is? Maybe you're a notchy. I'm not a piece of fruit. <laughs> Okay, so let's start the experiment. <laughs> okay, let's okay. see if it's magnetic. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. You think it's bendable? Ooh, I have a big concern about this. Yep, definitely bendable. Not that stretchy too. Cool. Mm. Transparent. Ooh. Nope, not transparent. And the final test. Oh, I think it's going to float. Drop it in the water and let's see. It's floating. It's definitely floating. Come on. Got it. Great stuff. We only have two more objects to test. And yes. the first one we're going to do cardboard. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves here with us. So let's see if this piece of cardboard is magnetic. Ooh, I have a big concern, as always. Nope, not magnetic. Definitely not. Do you think it's bendable? Hmm. Yeah, it is kind of. No, it definitely bends. But not as good as the paper and the other stuff. No, but it's Nope, not transparent. It's definitely not transparent. And will it float? Ooh. It floats, it floats, it floats. Yes. I am so happy right now. Okay, so you can take it out. Definitely buoyant. Definitely. And it's soak. Okay, and then we're getting to our last piece of the experiment. It's a piece of glass. I hope you guys can see it. So let's see if it's magnetic. Oops. Nope, not magnetic. Definitely not. I do have a concern of an next test. If it's bendable. I yeah. think it's actually breakable. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> ah. It's yeah. transparent! Yeah. And it's very clear, too. Yeah. If you saw that it's very transparent when I was doing this, I was just giving you a little hint, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So now let's see if it can float. Yep, definitely sinkable. Well, you can't see it because it looks exactly the same as the god. <laughs> oh, I think I found it. Excellent. Ooh. Thank you very much for your assistance, Zoe. You're welcome. Okay, guys, I just want to thank you for joining us today in this video. Hope you guys had a good time. And please remember to... Subscribe, like, and ring that bell button. So that's all from us here at Class in the Cloud Science. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.